Welcome back to this tutorial. Let's continue exploration of our demo and in this video we will see the functioning of our concepts with regards to blockchain and the P2P nodes. So let's switch to the blockchain tab and in this tab you will be able to see a structure similar to our blockchain structure. You have five blocks over here and the first block is the genesis block which is having the previous pointer as zero. Uh, each block is having a hash of its own as well as the hash of the previous uh, block that is the previous pointer of the block. Each of the blocks as you can observe over here are satisfying the proof of work. Each of the hash is having four leading zeros in the prefix of the hash code. So let's say for example, if I try to change some data, let's say I change the data of block number three and I change it something else. And once I do it, you can observe that the hash of the current block is changed and it is reflected in the previous pointer of its next block as well as the hash of the fourth block as well as in the previous pointer of the fifth block and so on. Since all these blocks are intrinsically linked with each other with respect to the previous pointers, the moment you change the data, you will have to mine the block from the third block to the fourth block until the last block that is in this case the fifth block. So let's do the mining again over here. So once you mine, you get this block turned green because it will satisfy the proof of work. So it is taking a bit of time so that that this itself proves the complexity which is being added is intentional to make things difficult for the intruder to not reach the majority. Similarly, you will have to mine the rest of the two blocks as well. So once you change the data of one block, all the blocks which are linked with each other are going to be required to mine the data again. So this is how your one chain of blockchain works. Let's see how it works in a P2P fashion that is P2P network fashion. In this case, let's say you have got three P2P nodes that is peer A, peer B and peer C. All three of them are having the same copy of blocks and if you can just see the data most of them are same and you know they are having the same data and the same copy of blockchain. Let's say for example I change the data of block number three of peer A and if I change the data let's say I change it to Hello, and let me mine the data over here. So I'll have to mine the rest of the blocks as well. So I will mine this as well, as well as the last block. And once they are mined and once they all satisfy the proof of concept, you will see that the block are considered valid by peer A, but they are not the same copies as the rest of the peers are having. Let's say for example, block number three, if you observe in peer A, has hash value uh, five times zero, three, nine, and then so on and so forth, which is not same as the hash value over here in peer uh, block number three of uh, peer B, this one, this both are not same, as well as it is not same as the block number three of PSC. But what you can observe is the copies of peer B and peer C's are similar. So it works as a kind of a democracy over here. The majority of the peers are having this copy of the blockchain. So they will all go under the consensus and the copy of the longest blockchain and the copy which is which is with the majority of the peers will be accepted as a valid blockchain. So in this case, though 
we have changed the data in case of the copy of PR1 and we have also mined the data and now that is considered as a valid block but still it is not in the majority with the rest of the peers and thus the copy of peer A will be rejected whereas the copy of peer B and peer C will be accepted as a valid copy of the blockchain.